Hey guys, it's Everything CNC here, and today we're continuing our video uh, uh, season of uh, um, the Master Troll 640T uh, controller. So it's going to be about the lathe and programming. Uh, as I mentioned before in my other videos, we're going to be uh, learning how to program the lathe and setting it up. It's a uh, Master Troll Quick Turn 250 is what we're on. Um, uh, I'm sorry, MASAC Quick Turn 250, and we're going to be using the Master Troll. Now we're going to start getting into programming here. Uh, now that I walked you through the menus. Uh, Mazatrol is uh, pretty uh, universal uh, for their controller series. Uh, if you have a 640T controller or on up, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, but the newer the ones, uh, newer versions are obviously going to have a couple more uh, advantages and added uh, uh, segments or uh, uh, lines that you can put in there. So uh, this is an excellent template for going from here on up. Previous versions, I've actually never used anything earlier than a 640T, but uh, I use 640T and then pretty soon here I'm going to show you guys uh, an M and uh, we'll do some Y axis milling and stuff like that later on in the more advanced section. But uh, to start off here, uh, we're going to create a program. So remember these keys, they just bring different uh, menu pages. We're in the position work page right now. So we're going to go back a button. We're going to look for the program. We're going to hit program. Okay. So now we're in the programming page. We're going to go to work number. Okay, and you have to choose a number that isn't in our uh, uh, computer already. So I always do 225588. I don't know why, it's just easy to remember. And that, and then hit enter. That is always uh, a number that is easy for me to tell from all the others to erase. It's my temporary folder, basically. So you see at the top here, we have 225588 program number. What we want to do, we just want to follow the instructions that are listed down here, and uh, we'll go through this real quick. So, Mazatrol program, that's what you want to create. Click that. Now it's saying workpiece material. We're going to click AL for aluminum, maximum outer diameter of uh, workpiece. So, we're going to do a simple uh, two step design on a, a one inch bar stock, okay? And the first diameter is going to be uh, 375, the second diameter is going to be 900 thousandths. Uh, we're going to have a 25 thousandths chamfer at the first tip and a 125 radius at the end tip. Uh, let me throw this up here so you can see. Uh, you can refer back to this and I'll put a picture of it in the bottom of uh, uh, the link here uh, so you can refer. But I'm only going to show you this one time here. So we have a diameter of 375 in the front, diameter of 900 thousandths in the back. It's a one inch bar stock. We're going half inch depth for the first cut, 750 uh, for the second cut. 25,000 chamfer and 125,000 radius. All right, so let me put this down here. Okay, so our outer diameter of workpiece. The way this uh, works is you program from the outside in and the front to the back total amount. Uh, and I'll go through that as we're here. It's asking for the outer diameter. Our max is one inch because it's the stock. Our inner diameter, we don't have a hole already in it, so we just hit enter workpiece length so we take the first half inch depth plus the 750 depth and that gives us a 1.25 then we're going to add let's say a hundred thousandths uh, or, or so just for uh, a, a future thing we'll go over which is a parting off tool so we're going to say one point uh, let's say 1.5 okay our rpm is going to be 2000 max um, just for you know getting and learning into it and some trucks are actually only rated to certain uh, uh, rpm so make sure your truck is rated to the rpm that you use our finish allowance on x that is how much material we're going to leave for a finish pass it's the last tool that you use on the very last pass of uh, the machine that the machine takes so it leaves a good finish we're going to say 0 0.005 thousandths and same thing on the z face which is this way, the X face is this way. So the machine's gonna come down and take a finish pass like that on the X, or it's gonna come down and take a finish pass like that on the Z. So 0 0.005. The stock removal of work face. What that's asking is how much material do you wanna take off the front face of the bar when you first cut it? So we're gonna work 25 thousandths positive of the origin that we set, so 0 0.025, okay? And we're gonna edge face. This is bar and face. We want to remove material off the face of the part first. Edge face, 1200 RPM, I mean, 1200 surface speed, 1200 surface speed, 
uh, rough cut, we're going to say 0.0 ten thousandths and 0.0 25 thousandths depth. 0.025 thousandths depth of cut. What this is saying is uh, feed every time the spindle rotates, take a pass of 10 thousandths step over. And this is saying as you take that 10 thousandths step over pass, cut 25 thousandths deep of material. So it's going to go in 25 thousandths and start feeding at 10 thousandths per revolution. Okay, a roughing tool is going to be tool number one, uh, one here. And finishing tool is also going to be tool number one. We're just going to leave it one tool because it's aluminum. Uh, starting point of X is going to be one inch because that's our maximum outer diameter. Uh, you, you know, you don't want to start at 500 thousandths or a half inch because uh, you're going to crash the machine. It's going to start into the part. You want to start away from the part and work your way down. So starting point of Z is going to be 0 0.025, positive from origin. So uh, the work face is, we left is 25 thousandths. We're going to start outside 25 thousandths. And we're going to go down to zero on the X and forward on the Z. Uh, your finishing feed rate, we're going to click feed rate and type point zero zero three. That means every uh, rotation, the machine is going to step over three thousandths and it leaves a really good finish uh, whether you're using an 8, a 16, or a 30 thousandths radius tool. Um, Alright, so that's uh, the face. We're going to check it out. We're going to go back. We're going to go program, tool path, okay, part shape. It's going to bring up the part and check continue. Okay, that red arrow that went over and over is uh, the tool that is and the tool path that it's doing. So we'll do tool path erase and we'll check steps. So I'll do it step by step so you guys can see. It's going, starting at the top, working its way down. Now it's going over to the origin, Z0, and going down to X0, and then going back home. And that is the facing toolpath.